Did you watch Toy Story when you were growing up? I know I watched a decent amount of the movies. And now, Mr. Potato Head can no longer be called Mr. because of being woke. That's what they're doing to all of our toys. So before I get into the story, just a quick reminder to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. But the best way you can help me out here is to share this video. So let's get into this. So Hasbro has revealed Thursday that they are renaming Mr. Potato Head, a toy, a gender neutral name, and that the Mr. and Mrs. Pronouns will be dropped from the toy's characters. So they're doing all of this. 70 years has been the case, and now it needed a modern makeover is what they're calling it. More like a woke makeover, to be honest. But now Hasbro has decided to announce that the Mr. Potato Head will not be going anywhere as well as the Mr. and Mrs. will remain as their characters. It's more obvious now when the first announcement happened that the company wanted to test the waters to see how the internet will react. Of course, not positively. The thing is that it doesn't really matter how the internet reacts on this. What matters is... Are they going to be able to sell this to kids? You know what I mean? Is it really going to matter? Kids probably won't know the difference, truthfully. But the fact is, is that what this is a first step. This is a very, very first step. This is a product where you had a male and you have a female. OK, and the actual brand of the name was Mr. Potato Head because he was the main one. That was kind of the main character. And maybe they felt like it was bad because the male dominance or something. I don't know. It just made it seem like men were more important. I have no idea. But what you're seeing when they actually are putting this into place is just the first step for them basically saying gender neutral potato head or Z potato head, right? Because what they're going to try to do is make it so that you just get a potato in a box with a bunch of these different things that you could put it on whatever you want. I guarantee you this was going to happen. Mark my words. It will happen. Okay. You're going to get a potato in a box with eyelashes with normal male looking eyes and you can mix and match however you want to do it all the clothes and whatever that's how they're going to do this right now and you know the fact is that they're also saying that this is just a marketing gimmick designed to increase demand for both the old mr potato head product and a new one of course it is getting it in the mail as much as you can and nobody really is going to care about what's actually happening here but like i said this is just a first step in the process of stripping away the identities of toys. If you think it stops with this, it is going to continue. There was actually somebody that made a pretty funny joke where they said, is Hasbro, which is the company that makes the toy, are they going to remove the bro from their name and just turn it to Has? Like instead of Hasbro, you get the idea. So the point is, is that all of these stores or all of these toys are going to wind up going down this route. If they have any type of gender identification to them whatsoever, they're stripping it off. And they're calling it gender neutral, but the fact of what they're really doing is just taking away and destroying what it means to be male or female. That's all they're doing. The thing, though, is that Toy Story is very popular amongst kids that aren't going to know the difference between all of these things, but they're going to try and do this. And like I said, mark my words, you're going to get a potato in the box with all these different pieces and parts that could be male or female or whatever, and it's just going to be potato head. You you make it up. Make, make it what you want. And then they'll go from there. So that's how it's going to work. But regardless, I had to report on this because it's just so stupid. It doesn't solve anything at all. And it really is just nothing but a uh, ploy for attention. So with that being said, I thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one.